Well, CBS 2 and CBS News New York is committed to breaking the stigma around mental health. And this morning we're highlighting I Dance Ministry and their latest performance called Project Broken, where young people impacted by mental illness, addiction, and disabilities express themselves through dance and art. Joining me now is Maria Daniel, founder of I Dance Ministry, and two of her dancers, Ananda Daniel and Tomislav Novistic. Hello, welcome. Hello, Hi. thank you for having us. Yes, thanks for being here. Maria, tell us about this project and why you started it. Yes, so Project Broken uses okay. dance and art to depict mental health, addiction, and disabilities, but we also show hope, healing, and recovery. Mm -hmm. And it came about because of the need. I saw before the pandemic, my dancers, family members, friends, they struggled in silence, and I wanted to give them a voice through the creative arts. And it has three parts. We do expressive dance art. We had an art exhibit where we invited students to tell their story. We had workshops, and we also had the live performance and a resource fair. It was amazing. Oh, that's incredible. Ananda, why did you join Project Broken, and, and what has it meant to you? I joined Project Broken because it's all about it being okay to not be okay, and it impacts people because it's focused on hope, healing, and recovery. And I also connect as a dancer, too, because I've personally struggled with mental health during COVID-19, so I really know the importance of bringing awareness to mental health issues. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Tomislav, how about you? Um, you know, what made you join and what's your experience been like? So I've decided to join Project Broken and I Dance because I truly believe in the message to better the various communities and experience has been wonderful. Maria is very nurturing and supportive and she creates this environment that's very safe for artists because uh, as an artist you're very vulnerable mm -hmm. and uh, she creates a safe space for us to express our ideas and our feelings. Aww. Now for anyone wanting to get involved with Project Broken, what are you looking for? Well, you have to believe in my philosophy, which is that dance is authentic, it's empowering, and it's healing. Mm -hmm. I don't want people to come through the organization, I want you to come to. Mm. So it's a mutual exchange, it's a connection. I intend to have a long relationship with all of our dancers, and that's what we're looking for, just to have a heart of service, a heart to be authentic, and as he said, very safe in this environment to express who you are. And where can people see the Bro project broken. Yes, so we will be performing on July the 30th at the BIPOC Mental Health Awareness Month event. It's at the Oscar Schindler Performing Arts Center in West Orange, New Jersey. And all of uh, Thomas Lab, Ananda, and our other dancers will be performing. So we're very, very excited. Well, thank you so much for being here and for doing all the work you're doing about breaking the stigma through mental health. You know, here at Channel 2, we're very important to us.